can you just come and visit me every day? <laughs> you, 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 are just, you, you have no idea how much you are brightening my entire being. Lads, I'm so happy that I have someone to talk to about this show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd love to curse, but I can't. Wow. James, when you read a script like this, you must be like, what? I watched it all in one night. Oh, oh man, this is incredible. Uh, well, firstly, thank you so much. And yes, you're right. When I remember, I can remember so vividly. I can remember what I was wearing, where I was. Uh, I was, uh, I actually, I read episode one on my phone as it came in an email <laughs> and I didn't even want to, I just wanted to read it straight away because mm. I couldn't believe that Jez had sent the script to me. And... I read episode one and about four or five pages in, I was like, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure I know what this show is. And then five pages later, I was like, oh, no, it's not that. I get it. It's this. And about 15 pages after that, I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I've ever read anything like this before. And I am in for wherever this is going. And uh, it's, I mean, and, it, and it's been as thrilling every step of the way since that moment. It really has. Yes, that must be beautiful to hear someone talk talk about your script like that. That you know, like where both of us are so involved. It, look, it's it's as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. I mean, it really feels it's a real thrill. You know, I wanted to, I set out to 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 create something that had all these twists and turns to it, but and that took you to these places that you didn't necessarily want to go, but that didn't throw you off the. Right. So often when when something do, does that, you, you you just tap out. You just you've, you've had enough, you know. And I wanted to keep everybody on board and then go to places they weren't sure they wanted to go. <laughs> so look, it's thrilling to to feel like what we it was we had planned seems to seems to be coming off for 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 you. James, what was the tension like on set? Because when we were watching it, everyone was so tense at so many different parts. Did you feel that on set, that this was something like, ooh, Jesus? The only tension you felt on set while we were filming this was whether you'd been on, in close contact with someone who just tested positive for COVID. <laughs> that's, that's really where all of the tension came on this the particular drama. shoot. The whole drama was hearing that you know one of the one of the grips has just tested positive and working out whether you were with, with him, him for more yeah. than 5 minutes yeah. and if you were you were going to have to leave the set and isolate for 10 days and that happened countless times so i mean nothing comes close to that tension when you're trying <laughs> to film a tv show absolutely nothing uh, if a question for both of you and i kind of felt coming out of it that Love can be a bitch sometimes. It's a bit tricky. Do you think audience will relate to that, like different parts of this whole thing? Like your character, James. Do you think that will be the same for everyone? I, I think, uh, look, I think the best thing about this show, I, I hope, is that it will end and people will think about it and it will live with them and stay with them for quite a long time. That seems to be the experience of people that have seen it, that when you watch one, you watch the next one and you keep going. And at the end, I think it makes you perhaps think about your own behaviour, your own relationships and your relationship to love. And and I think it's just so brilliantly written that it, it it's written without judgment and it's written without... Uh, it's written without any real malice towards any character in the show. They're all flawed, really. Um, I, th I think that's right, right, James? I love them all, and I, I kind of feel like this is supposed to be... Of course, we're torturing the individuals involved, but it's it's done... It's really... I think it's done for, for to let us all off the hook. It's done out of love and mercy. Well, another thing that I really liked about it as well is that the episodes are 25 minutes. Yeah. I adore this. Like, mm. Was that intentional to have it like that? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's part of the... the I love the, the structure of, of, of like, like that, that form of television. It just it puts on you real pressure to, you know, to, to keep it live, to keep it um, vibrant, and to, to come up with, 
with these these turns. You know, these 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 twists. I love the form. You can get really deep in twenty five minutes as well. Like you can find yourself in the middle middle of you know, like episode four on the on the boat. You know, you can find yourself in the heart of that thing, and it doesn't feel like you just spent twenty five minutes there. It feels like you spent longer. And I I, I think it's a really really uh, attractive form, both for writers and for audiences. James, so many people have seen you, like in Gavin and Stacey, on your, your TV show and all that. I fell in love with your the seriousness out of your acting and all that. Are you ready for people to literally go, wow, this is a side that we've never seen of you? Your co-stars I just interviewed you, praised you for about five minutes of our interview. Like, mm. I'm sorry for blowing smoke no, up man. your I, like, I, can you Can you just come and visit me every day? <laughs> you, you, are just, you, you have no idea how much you are brightening my entire being. This means the world to me. Um, look, I, it's really sweet that you would... I don't... It's probably the character that, that I've played that's probably closest to my self... And I and there and I have it, it was you know it's a challenge. There's moments in it that are challenging, and yes, there's there's there's, there's parts in it that that I haven't necessarily done before. So I think you know really all I ever wanted to do was just 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 make Jez happy and make him happy with it. Um, and I, I look, I've always enjoyed trying to surprise people. You know, people were surprised. Well, like you know, we get, we did after post Gavin and Stacey. I think there's all uh, you know. Uh, when I went and did a play, that people were surprised. Oh, I didn't know you could do that, and then hosting the show, and and then doing this. So I sort of always just enjoy that thing because I, I think there's always room for improvement in all of us. I think I can improve. I think I can get better, and I feel like I'm a better actor now post this but I think it's all there at the beginning I think if you a character like Smitty if you if you try and remember him it's way bigger and broader than it actually is to sit and watch the episodes again they're, they're way more detailed and it's way sadder and more more dramatic than perhaps you would just recall off the top of your head if you think of him as a kind of a as a as a character so I feel like I had seen through that and through one man two governors I'd seen more than enough to know that I had the right person for you know for for all the depth and shade that I needed that I needed here. It was like I felt like it had already happened and that I'd already seen it. It was incredible. Uh, I'm not going to like not even talk about the very end of it, but I shouted "bastard" at the end of it, and my other half missed the first two episodes, so he didn't want to watch the you know he wouldn't want to go in from episode three. He was in watching repeats of Eeyore or something like that in the room. Yeah. Are you ready for the public to be reacting to stuff like that? You know, hating on characters, but loving on characters. I it, hope is so. Is that an interesting part for you online? Like, yeah, I mean, I do think that there's, there's a moment in this show where, the, where the audience get betrayed. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. It's like, he's done what? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll delete that part out. I, I won't, I won't Do you know what I mean? Anything, there is, there is a bit where it's like, like, what? <laughs> and, and I think that happens throughout. And I mm. think, you know, look, this is this is the first time Jez and I have really met anybody who's seen it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and we've we we've been living with it finished for like a, a, a while, and then it's going to come out, you know, when it comes out. And so, it's all quite thrilling for us. Because the way that you're reacting to it, like, is when we'd if ever we'd sit and have a drink with you. Oh, I hope people. Yeah, yeah. I hope people when they feel feel like they might. Oh, let's watch the next one. You know, that's that's what we really, really hope. Yeah. I'll leave it on this. Please, can we have a season two? Yes. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know how it's gonna be done, but please. Oh, that's you're it. the best. <laughs> thank, thank, you guys, so thank you so much. much. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. It was thank brilliant. you for your kind words. It really means a lot. It, it was unreal. It really was. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Best luck for the rest of the day. Thank you.